So of course that this means that when you define the configuration, you have to define what is your primary VLANs and what are going to be your secondary VLANs. And now how this works is that once you have defined the primary VLANs and the secondary VLANs by configuration, then the secondary VLANs have to be associated with the primary VLAN because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Because you can have on the switch multiple such associations of secondary VLANs to primary VLANs. So it's not enough to just define which VLANs are secondary, which VLANs are primary. You also have to associate the, the secondary VLANs with the primary VLANs, with the primary VLAN. So there can be only one primary VLAN, but each primary VLAN can have associated multiple secondary VLANs. Like for example, I can have on any switch, I can have, for example, VLAN 10 to be the primary VLAN, and then I can have VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 to be secondaries and associated with VLAN 10. So this is primary, this is secondary, this is secondary. On the same switch, I can also have VLAN 100 to be primary, and I can have associated to VLAN 100, VLAN 200, and VLAN 300 as secondary VLANs. So because I can have this, ex this uh, specific use case, that's why you have to associate the secondary VLANs with the primary VLAN at, all, uh, at any point, in any, um, always. And I can have two types of secondary VLANs. I can have community VLANs and isolated secondary VLANs. Likewise, so once I define the VLANs, the VLAN types, isolated or community, and then associate the sub, the secondary VLANs with the primary VLAN, then I have to configure the switch ports to belong to which VLAN. And then switch ports can be configured to be promiscuous ports, which means that hosts connected to the promiscuous port is going to be actually attached to the primary VLAN, while I can have also host ports, which means that those ports are going to have hosts which are going to belong to any of the secondary VLANs, to the isolated VLAN or to the community VLAN. So once I want to define what is the primary, what are the secondary VLANs, associate the secondary with the primary VLANs, then I got to go at the switch port levels, at the physical ports of the switch, and configure them to be either promiscuous or host ports. If it's going to be a host port, I have to also configure to which of the secondary VLANs does it belong to that, that specific port, to a community VLAN or to a isolated VLAN. 